I'll describe a little bit of our own kind of motivation of, of what we were thinking. So when we started, uh, we did kind of a survey of the major OSs out there. We looked around and we realized the first thing we saw was that, hey, it's been uh, over 20 years since anybody's built an operating system. Or not since anybody's built an OS, but since the major operating systems um, you know, have been written. So Linux was started in 1991. Uh, NT in the late 80s, the BSDs can trace their lineage, you know, all the way back to Unix in the 70s. Um, these architectures that we're using are great, but they are uh, very old. And it's interesting to think about how much the hardware has changed during that time. So, you know, computers of the late 80s and early 90s look super different from the handhelds and mobile phones and IoT devices that we have today. Um, and it makes you realize that some of the some of the core tenets of operating systems today, some of the things that we really value, um, things like power management, things like uh, serviceability, sending updates, things like containerization, virtualization, um, network security, you know, these, these weren't really as big a things or, or things at all back when these operating systems were being designed. So one of the things that... Um, you know, kind of the big question that we set out to answer is, hey, given a chance to rethink all of the historical design decisions, re rethink, you know, the core design of an OS, and, you know, given 20 years of hindsight, can we do something new and interesting in the operating system space? Can we, can we create something different here? Um, so that's, that's the, the major question that we're setting out to answer. So we built Minoka OS, um, the two of us did. Um, it is POSIX, kind of largely POSIX compatible is what I'm saying. Um, and what that means is basically we're, we're taking POSIX as a great uh, standard of, you know, like a baseline, but we don't necessarily, um, it, it's not like something that we refuse to budge from. So if there are areas um, that, you know, of POSIX that nobody uses, we may not go off and implement those. If there are areas that... Um, everyone uses but aren't actually in POSIX, then we're, we're happy to add that. So like the most obvious instance of that would be um, get opt long. So like if you see any application that uses like dash dash verbose or dash dash, you know, some option that's not just a single character, um, that's get opt long. Everybody assumes it's going to be there. So we add that. Oh, sorry. That's the, <laughs> <laughs> that's the cat. Um, that would be Watney, Watney, right? That's Watney. Yeah, so... We named that cat after um, and after uh, the character in The Martian. Um, okay. And my girlfriend actually went to, um, you know, we went to a book signing and, and told Andy Weir about it. And he got really excited. And so we sent him some photos. He put it on Facebook. And then, uh, so the cat now has more likes than, than I do cumulatively. <laughs> in a single well, day, the cat is more popular than me. So anyway, that's the cat. Um, cat get that. Yes. Yeah, um, so so yeah, you had, it's, a, it's a great, great survey, great, great summary to start with. Uh, but I also want to bring on Chris for a second here. And uh, how did you, how did you meet Evan? And how did you, t the two of you, decide to write an operating system from scratch? Yeah. So uh, I think both of us um, really enjoyed our college level operating systems courses. You know, for me, uh, I think it was virtual memory that got me uh, really excited about operating systems. It was so cool. That, I, that the system was lying to applications about how much memory was actually available. Uh, so started saying, yeah, you've got four gigabytes of virtual address space when, you know, really there might only be two gigabytes of memory on the machine. Uh, and so after college, you know, I really wanted to go work on one of the major operating systems. Uh, and that's how I met Evan. Uh, and so we were working together actually on the uh, Windows NT kernel. Um, but then after, uh. you know, when, when, <laughs> yeah. Uh. That was, uh, <laughs> okay, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> well, yeah, um, and so we were working on Windows 8 at the time, uh, but then, you know, we kind of got, got, I don't know, we just went our separate ways there, um, and then after, you know, a year or so, uh, I got back in touch with Evan and learned that he was building an operating system from scratch, and I was like, whoa, that's cool, uh, so, you know, I had to go join him, it's something I couldn't pass up doing, and so, you know, we went off wading into the wilderness to try to see if we could do it ourselves. 